today's lesson, we're going to study dividing numbers using long division method. Let's have our first example. Divide 744 by 3. So we are going to write it this way. 744 divided by 3. The step 1 in long division is to divide the hundreds. But before we proceed to this one, let's have first the technique in doing long division. We're going to remember these people. Your daddy, mommy, sister, and brother. So daddy stands for divide, mommy stands for multiply, sister stands for subtract, and brother stands for bring down. So again children, we're going to use the technique divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. After bring down, go back to divide. Is that clear? So let's have the first one. 7 divided by 3, that is equal to what? Very good, it's 2. So children, always remember whenever you write the quotient, you should write it at the top. Is that clear? So we are going to write 2 at the top of 7. Then, let's do the multiply. 2 times 3 is equal to what? Very good, that is 6. So we are going to write 6 at the bottom of 7. Just like this. Then, let's proceed to subtract. So let's subtract 7 and 6. 7 minus 6 is equal to what? Good job, that is 1. So we are going to write 1 at the bottom of 6. Just like this. After subtract, we will bring down. So let's bring down 4. Always remember children, in bring down, bring down one digit at a time. Is that clear? So now, after bring down, we will go back to divide. So let's have the step 2. For step 2, divide the tens. Since we bring down the digit at the tens place, which is digit 4, let's now divide 14 and 3. 14 divided by 3, that is equal to what? Let's keep count by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. So that is 4. Then children, where are you going to write the quotient 4? Very good. At the top of 4 at the tens place. This one. Then after divide, we are going to multiply. 4 times 3, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 12. Then, let's write 12 at the bottom of 14, this one. And then, let's subtract. 14 minus 12, that is equal to what? Very good, it's 2. So, we are going to write 2 at the bottom of 12. And then, after subtract, we will bring down. Let's bring down the last digit, which is digit 4 at the 1's place. So now, let's go back to divide. Let's have step 3. Divide the 1's. So let's divide 24 divided by 3 is equal to what? Let's keep count by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that is 8. So let's write 8 at the top of 4 at the 1's place. And then let's proceed to multiply. 8 times 3 is equal to... Good job children! It's 24. And then let's write 24 at the bottom. Then subtract. 24 minus 24 is equal to what? Very good! That is 0. Since we don't have digit to bring down, the quotient is 248. So that's it children! It's easy, right? So let's have our second example. Divide 765 by 5. So again, we are going to write it this way. 765 divided by 5. So the step 1 is to divide the hundreds. 
Again, remember our technique? Daddy, mommy, sister, brother. Or daddy stands for divide, mommy for multiply, sister for subtract, and brother for bring down. So let's have the divide. 7 divided by 5 is equal to... Very good, that's 1. So again, children, remember... We are going to write the quotient at the top. So let's write 1 at the top of 7. Then let's proceed to multiply. 1 times 5 is equal to... Good job, it's 5. Then let's write 5 at the bottom of 7. 7 minus 5, that is equal to 2. Write 2 at the bottom, then bring down 6. So after we bring down, let's go back to divide. Let's have the step 2. Divide the tens place. So 26 divided by 5. Let's keep count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we have 5 here. Then let's write 5 at the top of 6. Then let's proceed to multiply. 5 times 5, that is equal to... Good job, children. It's 25. So let's write 25 at the bottom, then subtract it. 26 minus 25 is equal to what? Very good. That is 1. Let's write 1 at the bottom, then bring down 5. So now let's proceed to step 3. Divide the 1s. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to... Good job, children! It's 3. So, let's write 3 at the top of 5. And then, let's proceed to multiply. 3 times 5 is equal to... Good job! It's 15. And then, write 15 at the bottom. Then, subtract it. 15 minus 15 is equal to... Good job! It's 0. Since we don't have digit to bring down, the quotient is 153. Is that clear? How about if you have this? Divide 2,940 by 12. So we are going to write it this way. 2,940 divided by 12. So as you can see children, our divisor is a two-digit number. So that's why we are going to divide 29 and 12 first. So we have 29 divided by 12. That is equal to what? Very good. It's equals to 2. Then write 2 at the top of digit 9. Since we use the 2 digit in our more dividend. So next, let's multiply. 2 times 12, that is equal to what? Good job, it's 24. So let's write 24 at the bottom of 29. Then let's subtract. 29 minus 24 very good, that's 5. Then let's write 5 here. Then bring down 4. Next, let's divide. 54 divided by 12, that is equal to what? Good job, children. That is 4. Then let's write 4 at the top. Then multiply. 4 times 12 is equal to what? Good job, that is 48. Let's write 48 at the bottom, then subtract it. 54 minus 48 is equal to what? Very good, children. That is 6. Let's write 6 at the bottom, then bring down 0. Then, 60 divided by 12, that is equal to what? Very good. That is 5. Let's write 5 at the top of 0, then multiply. 5 times 12, that is equal to? Good job. That is 60. Then, let's write 60 at the bottom, then subtract it. 60 minus 60 is equal to 0. Since we don't have digit to bring down, the quotient is 245. Let's have our last example. 
divide 8,496 by 24. So, we're going to write it this way. 8,496 divided by 24. So, as you can see, our divisor is a two-digit number. So, that's why we're going to get the two-digit number in our dividend. So, 84 divided by 24, that is equal to what? Very good. That is 3. Write 3 at the top of 4, then multiply it. 3 times 24 is equal to... Good job, children. That is 72. And then, let's write 72 at the bottom of 84. Then, let's subtract it. 84 minus 72 is equal to what? Very good. That is 12. Let's write 12 at the bottom, then bring down 9. Let's divide again. 129 divided by 24, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 5. Then write 5 at the top, then multiply it. 5 times 24, that is equal to... Good job children, it's 120. Let's subtract it. 129 minus 120 is equal to... That's correct, it's 9. Let's write 9 at the bottom, then bring down 6. So, 96 divided by 24, that is equal to what? Good job, it's 4. Then, let's write 4 at the top, then multiply it. 4 times 24 is equal to... Very good, children, it's 96. So, let's subtract it. 96 minus 96 is equal to 0. So, since we don't have digit to bring down, the quotient is 354. So, that's all for today, children.